So today, folks, they had the Turning Point Action Conference, one of Charlie Kirk's little deals going on. And, you know, you could stand next to this Mercedes and I'm showing you the picture of it's probably about 30 years old, been around the block a few times, but it's it's wrapped in gold and it's got the presidential seal on the hood. And, you know, when I zoomed in, it had like tinfoil on the windshield thrown in there that was painted gold. Nice touch. And then it had like little little glue on rhinestones around the lights another nice touch and dave weagle was there <laughs> and poor guy you know he had to endure this whole thing and they said stuff like uh, they called this the people's convention they said donald trump is not here to save you you have to save donald trump to save the <laughs> to save the country talking about registering people and then he talked about charlie kirk said three and a half million illegals at the border we can fix that with the largest deportation effort fertility crisis we can reverse that he's got a culture they want to inst institute a culture where young people get married and have children again <laughs> like it's not happening and then they talked a little bit about religion you know they had to throw that in there so you know when you when you go to send three and a half million people back folks all you have to do is sprinkle a little bit of religion on it and it just makes the chaos a little bit more palatable you know from their perspective but guess who tried to get in and he got kicked out nick fuentes that's how this went folks take a look absolutely yeah it's my daughter Kat. she's 12 Hi. years old nice to meet you do you have an amendment that you prefer I like the first amendment. He's he's signing the Constitution. Right here, okay. Do you think there is a first amendment in your bubble when people like Charlie Kirk tries to do it? He just can't make it up. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Can I see your ID, please? Yes, Can I see your ID? Right here. Nope. Show me the one with the name on it. Watch how red he turns. Uh, we're down here at Hall B. Yeah, we got an issue. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I've uh, been told that you're not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Nick. Look at this guy. He had that little, uh, I don't know, like a little Tourette's. Uh, they just said he's kicked out for no reason. He's broken. Kicked out for no reason. He kicked out for no reason. The man is an avowed Nazi. He praises Hitler. And the Texas Star Tribune said once that he bragged about marrying a 16-year-old. <laughs> Here you go. How about that? <laughs> Jeez. And then, folks, Laura Trump was there, of course. And, you know, they're, they're making this, uh, they're all doing projection now. I just want to say it. All the MAGA people are doing projection now. It used to just be a Donald Trump thing. About four years ago, you know, something like that. It was just a Donald Trump thing. You know, the projection, the accordion hands are not on to that yet. But the projection, they all, they're all doing it. And here's what he, she had to say, folks. Listen to this. Laura Trump. I'm sending a loud and clear message out there to anyone who thinks about cheating in an election. Mm -hmm. If you cheat in an election, we will find you. We will track you down and we will prosecute you to the full extent of the law. Uh, what about the fake elector scheme that Donald Trump tried to pull? The everything's rigged, you know, find the votes in Georgia to try to overturn that entire state is what he said to the secretary of state. And then um, don't forget the J6 tourist event. Right. I mean, this is projection at its finest, folks. And projection is this this thing. You know, a lot of people use this term. And here we go again. Let's define it. The psychological condition where a person accuses others of the very behaviors they themselves are engaging in is often referred to as projection. <laughs> it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> Identified in psychoanalytic theory. It involves individuals attributing their own unacceptable thoughts, unacceptable feelings, unacceptable motives to another person. This can help the individual avoid facing their own faults and all the anxiety that goes along with it. But they're all doing it now, folks. It's all about projection now. So, Ramblin' Man, Donald Trump, the Ramblin' Man. What's going on here, folks? It's almost, I call it sundowning. I think he's hes doing a little sundowning here, even though it seems to be happening earlier and earlier. I didn't catch this clip when he said this initially, but I, I found this one, and he's talking about when he was a child and master locks. Have a listen. 
Just weeks ago, Master Lock closed down. I used to use Master Lock all the time. When I was a little child, I'd take Master Lock, I'd go boom, nice, lots of nice little puzzles you put them All right, keep an eye on this campaign event in Walker Yeah, they cut to that one real quick. Afternoon. Uh, Master Lock. So he's getting worse about it, folks. When he was in D.C. the other day, he talked about this kind of stuff. Ramblin' Man. Remarks to House Republicans, Trump also complimented the fictional serial killer Hannibal Lecter. He reportedly spoke of a great romance with Nancy Pelosi in another life, whined about Taylor Swift and called Milwaukee, which is hosting the Republican National Convention next month, a, quote, horrible city, a moment Milwaukee's hometown newspaper pr prominently featured on its front page this morning. So what, what is going on here with all the rambling, this, the sundowning, you know, Don, Don Mencha, you know, what, what's going on with, with all of this stuff, folks? I mean, it's, we just can't seem to figure this out. Um, and, and it's just uh, all sorts of rambling. And, you know, just the other day he was talking about, and I'm sure everybody's heard it, so I'm not going to play the clip. He was talking about if he was on a boat and there was a shark in the water and the boat was operated by electric and it had this big battery, and the boat was sinking, what would you do? Well, both of those things, folks, I think terrorized Donald Trump. Both of those outcomes terrorized Donald Trump because he's never been filmed or photographed swimming. The man's never put shorts on. He's never, his toes have never touched the ocean. So both of those things are, are, are traumatic for him. There, there's no good outcome, you know, with Donald Trump. I think he's afraid of going into the water. He talked in that same rant about the boat. He talked about all the, all the shark attacks, another ramble, another ramble. So we're not sure what's going on. I, I think it's called sundowning even though it seems to be happening pretty much starting you know noon and earlier um but he's he's going downhill folks and then here's this one i've got to play this one for you so he's talking about immigrants and i'm just putting the question out there do you think that donald trump is being passive aggressive towards melania let me clarify melania is an immigrant and the question is do you think he's being passive aggressive about immigrants here have a list, listen to this clip this is with jake paul an interview that he did and then in our country and these are not people that are going to make america great again these are people that have a lot of issues and we're going to have a lot of issues as long as they're here and we're going to get them out we have to get them out <laughs> Just saying, the last time that they were seen together was Barron's graduation. Do you think that his whole issue with immigrants might have something to do with Melania? That they're not getting along right now? And I, I don't want to sound, you know, uh, vapid or hollow in suggesting this, but... It seems like he's being a little passive aggressive. I don't think things are going well right now between them. It's my guess, my hunch. I mean, she wasn't at the the trial. And like I said, the last time that they've been seen was at Barron's graduation. Um, and immigrants are an issue. What about your wife? Till next time, folks.